Live from the Breaking News and Weather Authority, this is WEAU 13 News at 10. Thanks for joining us. Nine months ago, a U.S. Supreme Court ruling overturned Roe v. Wade. In Wisconsin, that meant abortion became illegal in most cases. Today, those in support of abortion rights rallied in Eau Claire. WEAU's Daniel Gomez spoke with rally participants, as well as those hoping to see the practice remain illegal. Democratic Attorney General Josh Call filed a lawsuit challenging Wisconsin's 1849 abortion law. That case is likely to be heading to the Wisconsin Supreme Court. The driver of a pickup truck is hurt after a crash in the township of Albion. According to the Trumpelow County Sheriff's Office, it happened around 9.30 last night on Highway 93 near Hanson Lane. Deputies say the truck was heading northbound when the driver lost control on a large patch of ice. That caused the pickup to go off the road and roll over. The driver was not wearing a seat belt. They were taken to the hospital with not life-threatening injuries. A five-year-old was also in the truck. They were not hurt. Yosemite National Park is open again with limited access after a series of winter storms closed it for three weeks. First, Citizens Bank shares may offer to buy Silicon Valley Bank, according to Bloomberg. Former Vice President Mike Pence is coming to the defense of his previous boss, Donald Trump, who says he expects to be arrested this coming week. Pence is joining other Republicans who are outraged, while some Democrats say Trump's push to protest his potential arrest is reckless. Tina Kim has the story. Today, Donald Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, said he will testify again tomorrow before the grand jury as a rebuttal witness. Cohen did not know any further details about what or whom he would be rebutting. Tomorrow marks 20 years since the U.S. invaded Iraq. For more than a century, the state hospital in western Minnesota served mentally ill patients from across the state. It closed 16 years ago, and the hospital remains abandoned. John Lawrenson takes a look at the building's past and learn why music may be its future. Seasonable weather continue, looks to continue as we welcome in spring tomorrow, but a few rain and snow chances are on the horizon. Meteorologist Derek Dahlman is in next with your Skywarn 13 forecast. The good news is those temperatures staying consistently near average in the 40s. So we'll take that compared to what it could be. I think we definitely will. Thanks, Derek. You got it. Coming up next in Sports Scene 13, Badgers basketball takes on Liberty and round two of the NIT. And Wisconsin women's hockey looks to secure a record seventh national championship against Ohio State. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to this week and the beginning of astronomical spring. And luckily, we at least have some seasonable temperatures to 40s, welcome in. Finally, yes, we will <laughs> take that all day, and that's exactly what we're expecting here for tomorrow. Highs right around that 40 degree mark, and that's what we're going to focus on. Yes. Thanks, Derek, <laughs> and thank you for joining us. Have a great night.